Hi, I'm Ashton and I'm an occupational therapy student. So this video is um, a day in the life of an OT student, but it's actually two days. So I did Monday and Tuesday. April is OT month, that's why I wanted to post this video um, to show what OT students do. And just for kind of clarification, um, we are in the coronavirus quarantine lockdown. So I take five classes, three of which are completely online typically, and we usually meet once a month um, in person, but two of them are in-person classes. But right now, because of coronavirus, everything's online. So that's why I'm not in the video. That's why I'm not like going to class. It's all online. Um, also, my friend Britlin, who um, is my OT school friend, one of my OT school friends, on her Instagram page, she's doing um, like daily posts of, about different settings of occupational therapy. So I will put her Instagram below so you guys can go look at her page if you wanna. Um, she'll have a little highlight on her Instagram profile. So if you wanna learn more about occupational therapy, she's gonna be posting every day a highlight about OT. So yeah. So this is just me getting ready for class. Usually I wake up at like eight and start doing homework and then go to class later in the day. But today, since I have class at 9.30 and I have class pretty much all day, I didn't want to be sitting at my computer that long. So I just slept in. So it's 9.30 right now. I have class right now. Um, I woke up late because I was super tired. So I'm gonna go to class and then I'll check it. Okay, so this class is my Occupational Engagement and Theories of Practice class. Um, basically, this class just goes over the different theories, models, and frames of reference that shape occupational therapy. And normally, this class is completely online and we do meet like once a month to just go over things in person. But like I said, because of coronavirus, it is completely online. Um, all my classes are now. So today in class, we were just doing going over an assignment with our assigned groups and going over a lecture. All right, so I just finished class. It's like 1040 right now. Same deal, I have a class in 20 minutes um, and that class is usually online and we usually meet like once a month in person, but because we can't, we're meeting online. Um, yeah, right now I'm starving. So I'm gonna make some food and then I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to class. Here is the cooking process. Got some sausages for Corey. Corey's making the eggs because he makes the best eggs. And then over here, I'm on toast duty because that's all I'm good at doing. And they look pretty ready. So this is my domain of occupational therapy class and I talk about it just a little bit later in the video but like I said this class is usually online and we do meet like once a month just to make sure that we're all understanding the information and on the right track and that is what we were doing um, today in this class. All right class just ended it was like an hour long it's 12 o'clock right now I have class at 1 30 so I have like an hour and a half break so I'm just gonna do some homework and work out. So this is my agenda. Um, this is the schedule for today. I had these two classes already and I have this class later today than tutoring and dinner and yeah. So right here I write what I'm gonna do today um, for assignments or studying or anything. So today I'm gonna write two chapters worth of notes for anatomy. Usually I have more written right here, but because I'm so busy today, I only wrote one thing because that's probably gonna take an hour, hour and a half. Um, and I wanted to be realistic about how much I would get done today. And then this is just assignments and stuff that I need to do within like the next week. Um, so yeah, just to keep myself on track and just remember what's going on. So it's 12.30, class ended at 12. I did not work on anatomy. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do a quick at home, full body, body weight workout. It's only gonna take 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna shower and go to class. I just finished the 30 minute workout. I'm gonna go shower and get ready for class that I have in 20 minutes. It's 1.10, got class at 1.30, so gotta get ready.
Hello guys, once again, it is 1.30 and my class starts at 1.30 and I am running late to class. I just got out of the shower, but that's okay because I'm online now and I can just click in in my towel and no one will know. All right, it is 1.40, I'm dressed, I'm ready for class. We are collaborating right now. Typically this class is only an hour and 15 minutes when we are in person, but now that we're completely online, this is a really hands-on class. So we do three hours on Monday, and then we do one hour, hour and a half on Thursday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be here for the next three hours. So this is my patient and client care management class. It's super fun and both PT and OT students are in it. We learn about infection control, how to assess vital signs, bed mobility and positioning, patient transfers, body mechanics, wheelchair fits and mobility. And right now we're learning about assistive devices and gait patterns. So it's 4.08, class is technically over. They were just kind of reviewing some questions. Um, I was gonna stay, but I'm so tired. I can't start my computer anymore. And I have tutoring in 20 minutes from 4.30 to 6.30. It's optional tutoring. I just kind of do it to review. Tutoring's fun though. We do cahoots and we do little activities and it's large group tutoring. So it's like all of the like OT cohorts. So it's a bunch of us. So here is the worksheet that the tutors are giving us to do. I have filled some of it out, but I haven't finished it, but yeah. They always give us a little worksheet that we can work on. And then we do cahoots and we just go over any questions we have. All right, the best part of tutoring, we do in a kahoot. So tutoring just ended, it's six o'clock. Um, I think I'm just gonna go watch some TV. I'm kind of tired of sitting here. I need to move and go sit somewhere else. So it's about seven o'clock right now. I haven't done any homework. We are on our way to go get curbside dinner. Don't forget the sanitize. Yes. Food secured. We're gonna eat. So it's 8.42. I haven't done anything since class ended, or like tutoring ended at six, which is fine. I may or may not do homework tonight, but if I don't, that's okay because I have no class tomorrow. I have nothing to do tomorrow except for homework. So yeah, I'm playing Overcooked right now on the Xbox. We're overcooking stuff, so I'll keep you updated about what I do. If y'all don't have Overcooked, it is a necessary purchase. So I didn't write my anatomy notes last night because I was too tired and I couldn't stare at my computer anymore. I also didn't wake up at 8 this morning because I was tired and snoozed until 9.30. I didn't get around to writing my notes until 11, so this is me just writing my notes. I read the chapter already and highlighted what's important as I went, so right now I'm just going back and reading what I've highlighted and deciding if it's necessary to include in my notes. I still have to watch my online lectures before class tomorrow. So I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I was doing my notes and I figured I would do like a time lapse to show how long it takes and like how an OT student does their notes. But my notes took me like two hours to write today and I'm not even like completely done. I still have to add in pictures. So when I'm like reading my notes and studying, I, I'm a visual learner. I can like see, I can like visualize it. So I have to do that, but there's a couple other things. So for the way my school is, we're a reverse, we do reverse classrooms. So we're supposed to watch online lectures, um, read, and do online, activ online activities, at least for anatomy. We're supposed to do all that before we go to class. That way when we get to class, we actually know what the teacher's talking about. We're not supposed to like know, we're not expected to know all the information when we go to class, but it's just so, when she talks about a muscle or whatever, like we know what she's talking about. So it's super pretty outside today. I'm probably gonna go for a walk, maybe go to the green belt and go hiking. So it's three o'clock. Um, I haven't worked since I stopped working at one, but I ate some lunch and I kind of hung out and now we are walking. So it's 4.15. We just got back from our walk. I changed really quick because I was sweaty. 
I'm probably I'm gonna go shower because I feel gross and then I'm gonna work on some work so after I took a shower ended up eating a snack uh, now I'm just watching my anatomy lectures and taking notes on them and adding pictures to the notes I already took from the book Okay, so I just finished watching all my online lectures and I thought I'd show you my updated notes. So these pictures are like little, I use the snipping tool to, you know, like screenshot these pictures and put them in my notes. So these are my finished notes. They're kind of short. I don't know why. These are a lot shorter than other chapters, but for this chapter, I put in the pictures associated with the notes. So I didn't put any pictures of the muscles um, right here because in the video, they were like older book pictures that I didn't like and I know my teacher's just gonna post a PowerPoint with better pictures, so I'm just gonna do that. But then the last video was all about like blood circulation, which was nothing that the um, chapters went over. So I did have to actually like right nose for that but most of it's just pictures for me i'm a very like visual learner also i listened to the lecture videos at 1.75 times the normal pace than what she was talking because all of the information that she was talking about i had already written notes on from in the book so i was just listening and i didn't really need to write notes all i was doing was listening and you know taking screenshots of the pictures so that's a tip. If that works for you, that's an idea. And now I'm gonna make some protein muffins. So I just put the first batch of muffins in the oven. They take like 10 minutes to cook, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do work. So this is the first batch of muffins. They are lemon blueberry and they are protein. Uh, sorry if you can hear this thing, it runs into everything. So all the muffins are done. It actually made less than two batches, like a batch and a half. And Corey's already eaten like 10 of them. So yeah, now I'm gonna go do homework. This is my little desk area. I'm gonna get back to work and start working on domains. But just wanted to say, you need, if you're going to OT school, you need a whiteboard. I got this whiteboard at Walmart. Corey got me the easel for my birthday. But yeah, this is a brachial plexus. This is what our last test was over. And if I didn't have this whiteboard, I would not have survived. So this is me working on my homework for my domains class. I have an assignment due Sunday. Right now we're learning about occupational science. So I'm just watching the videos on that and reading the chapter so that I can do my assignment for Sunday. So it's 9.30, I um, finished watching videos for my domains class um, and I started my assignment, um, that's due Sunday. I started reading the article and I just have to finish it tomorrow and then do a summary. I just, I'm reading the article and nothing's like staying in my brain. I'm like highlighting things and things are just going in one ear out the other. So. It's pointless to read it right now because it's I'm not gonna remember it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna be done for the night and I'm gonna go to bed. I have anatomy tomorrow from 12 to 3. So I won't be vlogging that. I'm actually done for today. Thanks for watching my video.